Yo, 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 it's Mickey Faxon. I wanted to address uh, some of the most recent um, issues that has been uh, currently happening uh, between some uh, Wu-Tang members, myself, EFN, and Noriega. Um, during the Drink Champs interview that happened last month, um, I was explaining a specific story and Noriega um, interjected into the conversation and said, uh, you know, Joe Budden had to apologize to Sons of Man and, you know, the flunkies, the people that don't exist. Um, and after that, you know, you know, he's laughing and then EFN says, you know, Shaheem the Rugged Child. And then I laugh and say Shaheem. And then I say uh, Killer Army twice and I keep laughing. Um, before I even explain myself, I just want to give an apology to um, all of the Wu-Tang members um, and anyone who's affiliated with them as well as uh, their supporters and their fans. Um, that was definitely out of line, it was out of pocket, um, and there's no excuse really for that. Um, as I was telling the story, you know, he when he mentioned that, you know, from re-watching it a couple times, it was more so when EFN said Shaheen, um, it felt like you know, I was responding like, wow, he, he apologized to Shaheen. He apologized to um, Killer Army. But that's not how and what the optics come across as. It comes across as, you know, I mentioned these two people's names as, uh, as you know, confirming what Noriega uh, was saying. Uh, let me just state, like, that's not entirely true. I have a lot of respect um, and admiration for all the Wu-Tang members. Um, from the original clan to everyone who ran with them, all the different branches. Um, definitely an unfortunate situation. Um, I take full responsibility uh, for what I did. Definitely was intoxicated off of um, so Ciroc. I drank a whole bottle of Ciroc, but I don't want to um, get caught up in too much in, in blaming it on um, alcohol, even though, you know, I was intoxicated heavily. It's more so about, you know, the actions that... Um, I had when it came to that. Um, very apologetic. Um, and, uh, you know, I understand everyone uh, feels, you know, a specific way about the scenario. Um, the reason why it took two days for me to do this apology was because I spoke to Shaheem uh, a couple times um, before he made the post. And he made the post, we spoke again. I was trying to rectify the situation between all parties. Um, and, you know, some parties just at the time didn't respond quick enough. Um, after that, you know, I reached out to some of the members that were mentioned in, you know, in that clip and had discussions with them uh, on Zoom live. Um, and it aired on a Killer Priest channel and they accepted my apology live on air. Um, so I wanted to continue to speak to uh, Don Pacino. He saw my message and, you know, he, he's he's probably not ready for that. So, you know, I have to respect that. And whenever he is ready, I'm, I would love to have that conversation. Um, I just want to reiterate that they are not flunkies. Uh, these guys raised me as a hip hop artist. All artists that came before me, uh, they raised me, you know what I mean? Like, and I'm indebted to everyone who ever had any impact on the culture in any way. And, it was not met with malice or ill intent. Um, I'm not gonna say that uh, they misinterpreted it the wrong way. Uh, you know, they're entitled to feel how they feel. Um, at that moment, you know, I was wrong. I'm just here to apologize for how everyone uh, essentially feels about, you know, what's going on and the things that I said. Um, definitely not cool to do that. Definitely not right to do that. And um, obviously, you know, I hope uh, not only the Wu-Tang and their members accept this apology, but also, you know, the support system of the Wu-Tang and the fans. Um, I got a lot of love for hip hop in general. It saved my life, it saved a lot of people's lives. And I don't want to be the cause of, uh, you know, drama in any way. Um, so, you know, shout out to everyone uh, that's involved with Wu-Tang. Um, hopefully, you know, this can be put behind us and uh, we can continue to, you know, move forward in a positive way. There's nothing wrong with, you know, black men at the age that we are to, you know, come as a man and apologize, you know, wholeheartedly um, 
and let it be known that, you know, I was out of pocket. I was out of line. Um, so much love and respect once again to the guys at the Wu. And, uh, you know, let's continue to move in a positive format. God bless.